I do want to call your attention to, to the fact that this organ has no problem with self-esteem <laughs> because you will notice right away it calls itself great and swell and positive and solo. And of course, you know how solos are. They're all divas, so that's a high esteem. The one thing uh, might puzzle me for another name is the pedal organ because the pedal is the foundation of the organ as far as playing the deep notes. It can play melodies, but it can also uh, uh, provide this firm foundation for the organ. Some of the biggest pipes in the organ are down there. To give you uh, an idea, here is one of the smallest pipes in the organ. Can you hear it? Tell your dog about it. And uh, here's, here's one of the bigger ones. Now, depending on where you're sitting, that could be tick tickling you in a dear place. Uh, there's another, another very deep one. This is the big tuba profunda. Now, that's not a particularly polite sound by itself, but when it's put under the rest of the organ, uh, you know that there is a firm foundation. By the time you get to middle C, if you pull a stop and play middle C on the organ, it's the same pitch that you will hear on the piano when you play middle C. But the wonderful thing is, if you want to then add a four foot, you hear it an octave higher, two foot, two octaves higher. You add one of those Roman numerals, and you hear a bunch of little shimmering things up on top. So that it's possible, simply by playing one note, to play uh, an infinite number of pipes. There are four families of organ sound, uh, basically the, what we call the principal or the diapason sound. This is a sound that uh, uh, is unlike anything else. It doesn't try to imitate anything. It's the sound that sounds like an organ. Now they come, like all families, uh, all the, the four families of tone come in all sizes and shapes, tall, short, Lean, not so lean, dysfunctional, etc. <laughs> One of the glories of this organ are the, is the wonderful richness among the eight foot sounds of the principles in the organ. This is very much like a French cathedral sound. principles, for instance, in a couple of manuals together, you get And moving on to the flute family, there are some beautiful solo sounds. Some very low ones. They're there. <laughs> Some that like to be cute. Etc. Now you notice that some of the, uh, the stop have a mutation, uh, have a fraction by them. Uh, like if you look under the positive, halfway down you'll see Nazar, two and two thirds. Uh, that doesn't mean that, uh, that the pipes uh, aren't all here yet, only two thirds of them. It, has to do with the length of it. And using the mutations, the two and two thirds, the one and three fifths, is somewhat, somewhat like putting spice in your cooking. For instance, this is a very pretty flute, but if I add the two and two thirds to it, it gives a little spice. Or the one and three fifths. So that you have, you have an infinite number of uh, tonal possibilities available to you. Then there are the strings of the organ in the swell manual, that wonderful manual. You'll see one, third one down viol de gamba. And one in the positive is called solitional. With each of these, there's also a stop called uh, a celeste stop. 
And what this is is another set of pipes just like this one, but it's tuned sharp so that when you draw it, there's a little wave there. The same with the one in the positive. Those are the pretty, pretty stops. Those are the ones you use in church when you want more offering. <laughs> um, and there, there are some other strings around too, but we must press on because I know you, know you want to see if I know any songs to play. We'll go next to the, uh, let's see, we've had diapasons, flutes, strings. Let's go to the reeds. Now, the two, two kinds of reeds, the ones that really are the, the uh, they make the racket in the organ. Uh, they're called chorus reeds, such as trumpets and bombards and, and uh, so forth. And then I will take them in, in order of uh, loudness, jumping up and down the keyboard. And when I get to the top, I'll be playing the tubas, which are, they kind of rule the organ. You don't mess around with them. So in addition to those reeds which we call chorus reeds, which, go, which blend with the principles to, uh, to make a big sound. You know, people talk, you hear the phrase all the time, pulling out all the stops. Well, pulling out all the stops doesn't mean full organ. Actually, if you pull all the principles and all the reeds, you have your full organ. Uh, once knew a concert organist who would have all that going and then to try to be impressive would reach over and draw something while he was playing and you wouldn't hear a thing because once you get past the principles and the reeds, you're not going to. The other type of reed are solo type reeds. For instance, uh, the, cr the clarinet. And the crumb horn, which is a predecessor of the clarinet. From where I sit, that sounds like it had a bigger lunch than the clarinet. It's a little heftier. Uh, there's a beautiful English horn stop. So basically, you've, you've heard a lot of the sounds. There's one other uh, a, a sound which uh, is not too popular with some people because they say it reminds them of, of a funeral parlor. This is the Vox Humana. because it's a little nervous when it sings. <laughs> but it, it's a very, uh, very important stop if you're going to play any of the French Romantic literature on the organ, for instance, the works of Cesar Franck. If you don't have that stop, you don't get the effect that he wanted. So uh, basically, that's a, a small tour around of the various stops. Just a couple mechanical things, and then uh, I will play for you. Uh, you've already been told the various keyboards, what they're called. And the, for instance, this is the grate, all those stops are there. This is the positive, all these play here, all these play here, and all these are the ones I stomp on down here. Uh, you, it's possible to play them all together. Uh, that's how you scare people. <laughs> and uh, you will notice that uh, if I do that, the bottom manual, this is the home manual, this is the great, you don't fool with that either. But if you couple them all there, you will notice that all the same keys on all the other keyboards go down. See that? Now that may look simple, but that means the organist has to have a big lunch before playing because you're, uh, you're actually opening a lot of valves at one time and it takes a fair amount of, of strength to do that. These buttons, can you see these buttons under the keyboards? Um, you'll notice when I press them, the stops jump out all over the place. That's because sometimes you might want to have just a few like this, and then the next minute you'd want to have uh, tons more, and you can't stop and grab them. So you can set these buttons like you would set a computer, a disk computer in a, in a way. This is, has a wonderful uh, a system for it, you can actually set 15,000 different combinations on the buttons on this organ. 
so that you could play from now to Christmas and have plenty of different things to jump out at you if you wanted. <laughs>